Uh, Gaffney High School is getting ready to start a, a kickoff program for the American Heart Association. We're uh, trying to raise money to uh, fight heart disease, strokes, and, and any congenital birth defects. Uh, we're looking to raise as much money as we can. We're counting on Gaffney High School to get it done. Coach Urban's uh, granddaughter, uh, Kirby, passed away with a congenital heart defect. and uh, I used to do jump rope for heart when I was at Chesney and uh, decided that what better way to, to show how we feel about Coach Irvin and his uh, ordeal and all he's been through and his family's been through than to uh, dedicate this to Kirby. And uh, we just hope you guys would, would help us out with this. Hello Gaffney High School. My name is Megan Azar. I'm with the American Heart Association and I just wanted to speak to you for a brief moment to say thank you. American Heart Association would be nothing without volunteers like you and you are joining 180 schools this year in the upstate area of South Carolina in helping the American Heart Association raise funds against heart disease and stroke. Every single day 2200 people have their very first heart attack 2200 or 2300 will have their very first stroke and by tonight only half of those people will survive. In 2007 at the age of 45 um, I was out working in the yard had a little honey-do list to do and and my wife had given me so some of you wives might not want to do that but uh, um, I was on about number three and it was just light work nothing serious uh, clean up some things in the yard and all and I felt a pain in my chest and uh, it was something different. I'd never felt that way before. I felt like I needed to burp and uh, you know, it just, it just didn't go away. My wife pulled in and I told her about it and she said, well, Dan, she said, uh, go take an aspirin. So that was a, a good suggestion there. And I went inside and took an aspirin and it, it didn't relieve it. So she said, let's go to the hospital and she ended up driving me to the hospital. While on the way to the hospital, I started sweating and she noticed I leaned back in the chair and leaned it all the way back and cause the discomfort just wouldn't leave my chest area. So she was pretty, she felt like she was aware that I had, a, you know, I was having a heart attack. So when we got to the hospital, it was kind of funny cause my wife told the, the receptionist there in the emergency room said, I think my husband's having a heart attack and the receptionist told me to go sit down. <laughs> so we we went and sat down and uh, but we weren't there long and a nurse came out and uh, took my pulse and and brought me back and said Mr. Jones you're having a heart attack she said I said I am she said yeah uh, she said how old are you and I said 45 and she said well that's the age and I'm thinking that's the age of what to go jog around the block or and she said no that's that's the age that most folks have men have heart attacks and so she took me on back and uh, they immediately gave me an IV with some nitroglycerin in it and instantly as soon as that hit my system uh, the pressure left my chest area and uh, I seen Dr. Camberlin there and, and, uh, and they, they said that they would do a test and check the enzymes and make sure it was a heart attack and they confirmed that and the next thing I know they were putting me on a helicopter to fly, fly me from uh, Cherokee Memorial Hospital to uh, Spartanburg Regional. The, the expense was like $12,000, I do remember that. From Cherokee County to Spartanburg, don't take a plane, a helicopter flight, it's $12,000. I got to Spartanburg Regional and they got me set up to put a stent in and uh, actually once they went in, they found out that the clot had moved and didn't actually even have to put a stent in, so I was real excited about that. Only had to stay in the hospital a couple of days, and uh, and uh, was glad that uh, that we have personnel that are prepared for these type of situations, and uh, also that uh, uh, they're they're ready to take care of your needs. After the heart attack, I, I guess uh, one of the things is I'm a lot more aware of the people that are involved with the American Heart Association. The great information that they give you on exercising and what to eat and you know I thought I was in pretty good shape and and but there's more to it than just that you, you need to be aware of uh, other conditions and other things that play a factor in heart disease and like the food you eat and, and uh, stress and, and different things and they've made you become more aware of that so I'm thankful that we have people that uh, that are that 
that's their job is to make life healthier for everybody in America and actually in the world. So I'm here to support the American Heart Association because 65% of diabetics die from either heart disease or stroke and I am a diabetic. My grandmother was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 83, passed away from a stroke at age 85. My father was diagnosed with diabetes at age 53 and 10 years later um, died from a stroke also because of the diabetes. I was diagnosed at the age of 37 and as you can see my grandmother was older than my father was younger and then I was diagnosed at an earlier age. My son is only 27 is also having some of the symptoms of diabetes. So it's very important that we fight against uh, this disease. I would appreciate your support so very much. Uh, heart disease has affected my family. My father, in uh, about 25 years ago, was uh, he's a truck driver, and he was in, uh, in Kalamazoo, you know, Grand Rapids, Michigan, and uh, had a heart attack while driving a truck uh, on the CB. He called for help. Uh, they life flighted him out of uh, Grand Rapids, uh, Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo and uh, saved his life there. So uh, without the protocol that the American Heart Association had put in, that uh, you know, my dad wouldn't be here to enjoy us today. And, and th thankfully, he is with us still today. Uh, he's also had uh, open heart surgery and uh, another heart attack as well. And uh, once again, the American Heart Association and all they do has uh, helped him to, to still be with us. And I'm thankful for that. It makes me thankful for each day and each day that he's here. Uh, because I know that a lot of people are, are, are not as fortunate. Uh, heart disease and, and stroke and, and heart attacks affect uh, a great deal of Americans and, and a lot of them don't have that same story. So uh, you know, be heart conscious, be, be heart conscious in terms of diet and of exercise and uh, just be thankful that, that uh, the American Heart Association has these things in, in place to, to help people that have these needs. Yes, I performed CPR on several occasions. Uh, one in particular uh, was a gentleman in his early 50s. Uh, he was having or was in cardiac arrest when we arrived on scene. Uh, we started CPR using the American Heart Association guidelines. Uh, those guidelines are standards throughout the nation that are used to uh, provide, provide CPR and uh, to try to encourage uh, the heart to restart and through that, through our use of CPR, we were able to save that person's life. Uh, not only was our CPR being used, but also we used a uh, AED. Uh, the AED is providing the electrical shock to the heart to help restart the heart. And so between our use of CPR and the AED, we were able to save that uh, person. And uh, matter of fact, he's still alive to this day. This next upcoming weeks, we at Gaffney High School are going to be partnering in a couple different ways that you can help raise funds for the American Heart Association. The first way is by buying a dollar heart. And you can do so in memory of someone that maybe has struggled with heart disease. You can do so in honor of someone. Or you can do so in just your own heart health and put your name on the heart. There's a classroom competition that'll be going on, and the hearts are only a dollar to purchase. If every single student would help, that would be over $2,000 raised right here at Gaffney High School. The other couple ways of helping are the envelopes that will be going out. You can ask friends and family members to donate to the American Heart Association, and they can do so in honor of someone. The other way of helping out with the American Heart Association is the online. We are going to send online instructions home today, and you will be able to go online tonight and send to friends and family members that maybe live outside of the state, maybe outside of the country, and that would like to give to the American Heart Association. And then the final way is there will be a three-on-three -three basketball tournament, and Coach Rames will be talking to you a little bit more about that. But I just wanted to show you a couple quick pictures of people that you're helping here in the state. These are several of our children heart survivors. The first one is from Columbia, his name is Alex. We have Edith Perez here from Spartanburg County. We have Jada here from B.D. Lee Elementary right here in Cherokee County. And then we have Thirty Vang that's from the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind here in Spartanburg County as well. All of these children were submitted and are chosen as National Heart Survivors for the American Heart Association. So again, we say thank you so much and we appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Take care. We're gonna do it as Hoops for Heart and that's uh, $5 to get in, three-man team, and uh, we're gonna have a double elimination tournament on February 2nd. And uh, I think that, that way we can uh, reach our goal of $2,000 and uh, 
hopefully you guys can help us do that. One of the easiest, quickest, and most effective ways to collect donations is by joining your school's online Hoops for Heart team and spreading the word from there. Did you know students who raise money online raise three times more? Here's how to get registered. Visit heart.org slash hoops and click on register now. In the search for a team area, enter your school name or your city, state, or zip code and click submit to find your school's event. You don't need to fill in all these fields unless you want to. Just remember that there might be more than one school with the same name, so make sure to find the school in your city. Once you find your school, click on Join Team. Choose a username and password and answer a security question. Click Continue. Be sure your username and password are easy to remember. Write them down so you don't forget. Enter your name and the email address you are using. Tell us if you're a heart disease survivor, pick your t-shirt size, and more. Review the waiver and ask your parents to click the box to accept it. Click Continue. You'll see a confirmation screen and a button you can click to go to your heart quarters and set up your web page. A Share with your friends pop-up box to share on social media will appear. Ask mom or dad if they want to post on Facebook or Twitter. To share, click the box of the social media icons you use and click Publish. Click the X to close the box if you don't want to share now. Customize your web page and let your friends and family know how much you enjoy Hoops for Heart and why you are participating. They will be much more excited to support your efforts. Click on the Tell Your Story button in the Steps to Success section of your MyHQ page. Add a video or photo to your site. Select Image for a photo or video from the drop-down list. You can keep the default photo, select a photo from our library, or upload a photo or video from your own computer. Choose one that shows why you are participating. Click below Caption Under Image to change the words that appear under your picture or video. You can also change the wording that donors will see when they look at your web page by clicking in the Edit the Text box and adding the reasons that you are doing Hoops for Heart. You can click the Preview button to see how your web page looks. When you are ready, click the Submit button to save your changes and update your web page. Now you are ready to ask for donations. Sending emails to family and friends is easy. The more people you contact, the more donations you will receive. Just by sending out your emails, you will be helping the American Heart Association increase awareness about heart disease. And before you know it, the donations will start coming in. Log in to your Heart Quarters webpage by visiting www.heart.org hoops and locating the login area. Look for the arrow that says, Are you already registered? Click on the Send More Emails button in the Email Activity section of your MyHQ page. Type in your friend or family member's name in the greeting box and their email address in the recipient email box. You may add up to 100 recipients at a time. You can even import your email contact address book by clicking on the address book link. Choose an email template by clicking the drop down arrow. You can preview how the emails will look with your greeting. When you are ready, click send email to send your email message to your family and friends. Be sure to put a copy of your report in your donation collection envelope with any cash or checks you received and turn in your envelope to your teacher. Log in to your Heart Quarters webpage by visiting www.heart.org hoops and locating the login area. Look for the arrow that says, Are you already registered? In your Heart Quarters, scroll down to Personal Fundraising Progress and click the View My Reports button. Click the option that says Printable on the top right of the list of donor names and amounts. Click on the printer icon in the upper right corner of your webpage or go to File, Print in your webpage menu. 
Make sure this report is inside your collection envelope and turn it into your teacher. you harmless game of charades based on film titles turning into a sudden cardiac event bam shiklaki no what you think you're better than me well it happens all right it's a real life situation i got my daughters here call 911 push hard and fast okay focus and yes the beat of staying alive really works Shama. Disco can save lives. Yes, disco. Huh? Check it out. What do you think? What? Dance party! 